Okay, so first of all, when you're creating the project, make sure you use the universal project template and not the regular 3D template. If you already have universal render pipeline set up in your project by clicking the universal project template, then you can skip to step two. If not, then you need to continue watching to learn how to import the universal render pipeline. So first things first, you want to go to window, then click package manager, and then go into this little drop down that says packages in project and just go unity register. Now you can see all of the built-in Unity packages. Scroll down to Universal RP, which stands for Universal Render Pipeline, and click Install. So once that's installed, you can go into the Project tab and press Create. Go down to Rendering, Universal Render Pipeline, and Pipeline Asset. Then press Enter. Go to your Project Settings, go to the Graphics tab, and here you can see Scriptable Render Pipeline Settings. Well, you need to drag in the Universal Render Pipeline Asset dot Asset into that. Once that's done, you can see that in your scene view, everything turned pink. To fix that, go into Edit, Render Pipeline, Universal Render Pipeline, Upgrade Project Materials to Universal RP Materials. Press Proceed and it works. Now, to import post-processing, it's very simple. Go to Camera, turn on post-processing, and to add more post-processing, you want to right-click your hierarchy, go to Volume and Global Volume. Next, go to Profile in the Volume tab and press New. And now you can add all of your effects by clicking on Add Override. So to check if this works, let's add a lot of blue. You need to turn on all of these, but instead of doing it manually, you can just press all. And let's crank up the intensity. And as you can see, it works. So let's add more post-processing and try to make this a very good looking scene. Also, while I'm doing this, if you want a detailed description of every post-processing override, there is a video by Brackies where he goes in-depth on every override in Unity that you can check out in the top right corner. So yeah, those are all the changes I wanted to add to the scene. This is what we had originally and this is what we have afterwards. And all of this took me about five minutes. So. This is a really big improvement, especially considering how little time it took. So, hope this tutorial helped. If it did, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in a different video. Bye bye.